Hello and welcome to Word Knob. Today we're blasting off into the outer reaches of space for our word, which is the mighty Feghut. A Feghut is a convoluted and far-fetched story. It's often set in space. It always ends with a truly atrocious pun. The term Feghut came into existence in the 1950s where a guy called Reginald Bretner was struggling with a game of Scrabble. He wasn't sure how to use the tiles he had in front of him. He wasn't finding anything that made any sense at all. It seemed nonsensical. And then his wife helpfully pointed out a combination of letters that sounded at least like it could be a word. Feghut was born. Bretner loved the term so much that he started writing his own collection of short stories. He titled the collection Through Time and Space with Ferdinand Feghut. The stories themselves were far-fetched, ridiculous, and packed full of these alien flora and fauna and all these customs that were really only there to facilitate an absolutely horrendous pun at the end of the story. Nowadays, fair cuts pop up more than you expect. They appear regularly in comics like this, and this, and this. They appeared in The Muppets. Tell them a story. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a man named Benny. What else? What else? <laughs> South Park included one in their episode about Bono. My little crap has accomplished many things, but he could never shed the fact that he was really a number two. And they're particularly celebrated in sci-fi. Red Dwarf have used them. My mate Peterson once bought a pair of shoes with artificial intelligence. Smart shoes, they were called. <laughs> that was a neat idea. No matter how blind drunk you were, they could always get you home. <laughs> Yeah, Peterson was really, really blown away about it. He went to see a priest. The priest told him. He said, he said it was all right and all that, like, and the shoes were happy and that they'd gone to heaven. You see, it turns out shoes have souls. <laughs> oh, what a sad, sad story. <laughs> and they even received a nod from Star Trek in their episode, The Trouble with Tribbles. Where are the Tribbles? I use the transporter, Captain. You use the transporter? Aye. Well, where did you transport them? I gave them to the Klingons, sir. You gave them to the Klingons? Aye, sir. Before they went into warp, I transported the whole kit and caboodle into the air engine room, where there'll be no trouble at all. Be no trouble at all. Be no trouble at all. So that's the Feg Hood. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing the video. Uh, and if you've got your own uh, Feg Hood that you could share with everybody else, please put it in the comments section below. Let's see which ones are the most popular. Thanks. <laughs>